Plumpets from Sally's, Sally's Beauty Supply, for $9.99. This is a uh, seen on TV product, but now they're selling it in stores. I saw them at Sally's. I think I also saw them at Target, and you can probably also find these at other stores. I got the one in dark brown, black, to fit my hair, of course. It comes with this styling instruction guide. Also shows some various styles on the back. It comes with this little mini bumpet for that little poof or pompadour right up front, I believe. Or you could probably be creative. Use that for something else. Also comes with this medium-sized bumpet and then this larger bumpet. It also comes with this little tiny baby teasing comb, also known as a rat tail comb. It claims that it's as easy as one, two. Three. So let's test that out real quick. With my rat tail comb, using the pointy edge of it, I'm going to part this back section of my hair, try to create somewhat of a straight part, something like that. Let's use the larger size bump it so that you can see if it really makes a difference or not. You're supposed to insert this right underneath the part, and it tells you to just push down on the bump it. I'm going to grab somewhere in here from the top of my head. It tells you to take your hair and then lay it down on the bumpet and really just tug it down so that it really um, digs into the teeth or these little grooves on the bumpet. Then it tells you to adjust. Grab more sections of hair and just try to dig it in there and to hairspray immediately. So let's see how this looks. It looks pretty awkward, right? Yeah. I think without teasing, this isn't the way to go. This doesn't even really want to sit up on my hair straight. Now let's do the shake test. Okay, so that didn't work out too well, did it? Let's try that again with a few more steps. Feel free to straighten or curl your hair before applying the bump bits. We are going to be doing some teasing, so I'm going to take that comb, some hairspray. I am using Aussie Awesome Volume hairspray. And once again, we are going to be using that larger bump bit because if we can make this look halfway decent, then this smaller one shouldn't be a problem. What I'm going to do first is part my hair once again. Try to create a straight line. I'm also going to grab hair from the front. Grab a good enough amount so that it'll cover the bump it. Now I'm just going to clip this part out of the way. I'm going to take another thin layer right beneath that part. Just a really thin section, just like this. I'm going to start teasing it or backcombing and by that I mean to take the brush or comb and just start backcombing. So you want to go from the midsection and then just push your hair down. You are trying to wrap up your hair, get it all tangled up. Do it on both sides. Grab your hairspray and then spray that in place. The purpose of this is that your bump it will have a place to really grab onto and it won't slip out of your hair as easily. Okay, we are now going to insert the bump it. Push it down, make sure it really grabs onto that tangled hair. Time to start teasing or hair. I'm going to split this into just roughly. And then just kind of clip this out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to hairspray it first. You can do it before or after. And I'm going to back comb this once again. In the front and in the back. And then same as we did before, just push this hair down onto that bump bit. Make sure it really sticks on there. As you can see, it's really sticking on there. It's not moving anywhere. 
So that's just going to be our first layer. Okay, you want to continue doing this. I'm going to grab another section, but more so a half part of this section, so that we're going to try to cover the side of the bump bit. Okay, so repeat the same steps. Okay, and then I'm going to strategically place this so that it covers most of the bump bit and just really dig it in there. Make sure it sticks, clings onto the teeth. Like so. Do the same on the other side. Make sure to dig it in there. Okay, so far so good. And then take the last section of your hair, just lightly spritz it. And then once again, lightly tease it. You don't want this front section to be tangled up too much. Now I'm just going to take my large paddle brush and I'm just going to lightly brush out any tangled top sections. So once it looks just the way you want it to, make sure to lightly spritz it all around and hold it about a foot away from your hair. And we are done. Let's do a pan view. Let's analyze this a little bit. Does it look halfway decent? What I notice is that it has a bit of an odd shape because it kind of flattens out and then suddenly has a bump right here, as I'm sure you can see. So one thing you can do is put this right in front of the other bump bit so it kind of has more of a base to sit upon. Um, so that's just going to take a little bit more effort. I have tried using this on someone with less hair and also thin hair especially if you have very little hair at the top of your head and it's your hair is not going to cover these it's not um, if you don't have very much hair this is almost kind of, I almost feel like a cone head because you kind of have to put more effort into really teasing up this front section to poof it up more and also the sides if you don't want to look like a cone head do I think that these are worth the money um, I think it is okay if you have enough hair at the top of your head. I have watched one video on bump bits where someone actually placed hair extensions right up here so they, ha they would have enough hair to cover um, the bump bits. And I thought that was ingenious. That's a really good idea. That's another option. Also, I think that if you're someone who can tease the crap out of your hair, but no matter what, it still falls flat, the bump bit is something great to just really hold up that tease. Um, also, one thing I've tried is removing the bump bit after placing it in, after all the hairspray has dried, and it kind of really locks the style in place. So the bump bit kind of works as something to just mold the shape, but then you can remove it. Um, is removal easy, especially after you've placed it in this tangled, teased mess? It is difficult. You have to be very, very careful. Do not rip it right out of your hair. You are going to rip your hair out. So be very gentle. If you have an incredibly hard time with it, I would just even jump in the shower with this. Just try to massage your fingers through it with some hair conditioner to just really smooth it out, and it should slip out. Same goes for teasing. Teasing can be very damaging, especially if you don't brush out the tease very carefully. I suggest if you try to brush it out, try to hold your hair by the roots and then brush it out like this. That way you don't end up just pulling out a bunch of your hair because no one wants to do that, right? Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Time to shake. Let's see if it can hold up to all this teasing. Ready?
Okay, so it didn't slip out. Might have messed it up a little bit. But let's hope the average person has no good reason to have to shake their head like that. So overall, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a monstrosity and it is just butt ugly? Or do you kind of like it? Maybe the diva in you is liking the big hair. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys.